The trial of former Health Minister Ali Insanov is held under restrictive conditions as the defendant is not allowed to bring his complaints to the attention of journals and other people. Though in previous hearings, Insano was able to talk to people while entering the courtroom, on February 21st he was deprived of this opportunity. The Chief of Staff of the Ministry of Economy, Samir Aliyev, and former Chief of the Financial Department, Rustam Aliyev, gave testimony in today's process. These are the people who had signed the Inspection Act on the value of privatization of some of the Health Ministry assets. The Act states that the value of these assets were determined by the Prioritization Department, which was accountable directly to the Minister. The judge immediately turned off the microphone when Ali Insanov said, From privatizing, the budget received $500 million. Where is the remaining $30 billion? Later on, the lawyers of Ali Insanov issued a motion for summoning of the Chairman of the State Property Committee, Karam Hasanov, Minister of Health, Oktay Shiraliyev, the Chairwoman of the State Students' Admission Commission, Meliki Abbas Sada, and the Department Head of the Presidential Administration, Fatma Abdullah Zada. Insanov noted that the assets of the Minister was put up to sale by Karam Hasanov, while Oktay Shiraliyev transferred money for the publication of his book. Insanov also addressed a request to the Minister of National Security on whereabouts of the gold ingots found in his house and demonstrated on TV. Insanov further said that the charges related to economic crimes were filed against him a year and a half after his arrest, and during this period he was illegally kept in jail, which was confirmed by the European Court. After the break, the public prosecutor took the floor. He asked the court to uphold the decision without any change. The process will continue on February 25th.